Buki. Say good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's time to eat. Yes. <laughs> You're so pretty. So first thing in the morning, I walk to the kitchen and I have a smoothie. Now, I'm the kind of person, when I first wake up, I have so much that I want to accomplish for my day. I get really amped that sometimes I don't take the proper time to make a nutritious breakfast. Cheeps. He's saying giving me kisses on my legs. So I've gotten in the habit of meal prepping everything. You guys will see this is a little extreme, but the night before, I make myself a smoothie. So first thing in the morning, I can just, you know, throw this back and feel satisfied. <laughs> so this smoothie is nothing but pineapple, mango, strawberry, banana, and coconut water. There's no veggies in here. Sometimes I will do some spinach just to kind of get my greens in. Because to be real with you, I'm not a greens person. I love vegetables, but leafy greens are not really my thing. Guys, it's so gloomy this morning that I just have to light a candle. And I'm just, I think I'm gonna just stay in my PJs. <laughs> so I am hungry again. So I'm gonna go get my next thing. So you will see my fridge. It's all prepped out. So one side is stuff I've made for my boyfriend to take to work and then the other side's mine. So the next thing I'm gonna eat is just some fresh fruit, which again, I chopped up last night. So the night before, I always make a habit to do the smoothie and the fruit, but everything else that I prep for lunch, um, I make on Sunday. So I just make it once and then I have enough for the whole week. Today I have some fresh cut pineapple, uh, pears and apples, and some grapes. So just gonna take this over to the cozy couch and has a little snack while I work. All right, time for something else. I'm going to have this little uh, jar, <laughs> bowl of oatmeal that I'm just gonna warm up right in the jar. This may not look appetizing, but trust, it is so good. So to make this, all I do is heat up a pan of almond milk or whatever kind of plant-based milk that you like, let it come to a boil, then I add in some steel-cut oats, stir it all up, and then I'm gonna add in some flavor. So I'm going to do some cinnamon and some vanilla. Let that cook a little bit longer, then I'm gonna add in some maple syrup, and then I'm going to fold in some raisins and some chopped pecans. It's so good, even Chibi wants some, huh? You trying to steal some of this, boy? You trying to get in on this? This is for me. <laughs> it pretty much tastes like an oatmeal raisin cookie. Just all the flavors. Mm. I think it's especially good for the fall, you know, when you're in that fall spirit. I got my leaves candle burning right here, so it's been cozy today. It's a bit later in the day and I have managed to get out of my gloomy weather funk. I've gotten dressed, been working in my office. Look at my little helpers over here. <laughs> Hi, what you guys doing? Books, chips. Anyway, so I'm hungry. I'm gonna go eat my first lunch. So for lunch, I eat two things. I'll typically eat some kind of heavy soup. And by heavy, I mean it has like potatoes or beans or rice or lentils or something that's really filling. So I will have a soup and then I will have like a, another kind of heavy veggie rice dish. So this is a potato broccoli cheese soup that is vegan, obviously. Might not look that appetizing, but I swear to you, this is one of my absolute favorite things that I make. Uh, excuse me, she wants food, she's banging on the door. <laughs> but anyway, so how you make this is pretty simple. You just start off by browning a large onion, then you're gonna add in some garlic and a head of cauliflower and bring everything to a boil in some veggie broth. So you're gonna boil this for like 20 minutes. Then you're gonna add in some celery and some sliced potatoes. Keep boiling it until everything is soft and you can kind of mash it up. 
Then last but not least, throw in a bunch of seasoned salt or whatever kind of seasoning you like. I love seasoned salt, so this is what I put in there. Then I'm going to put this in the blender, add some almond milk, and blend it all up. Then you transfer it from the blender back into a large soup pot where you add some broccoli and some potato chunks. Stir it all up and then add in some nutritional yeast and salt and pepper and allow it to simmer. If that was hard for you guys to follow, I'm really sorry. I will have everything written down on my blog. But here it is, got my soups and coming back to the couch. I mean, we don't have a table here. We have these bar stools, see? But I don't like eating there. I like eating on the sofa. I know that's, that's awful, but yeah. As I sit down for lunch, I'm working on this blog post, which you guys will probably already have seen by the time you're watching this video. But I'm working on this blog post today for the Beyond Burger, which is this crazy vegan patty that's gonna be sold alongside beef patties at the grocery store. It's not out yet, I don't believe. It may be in select locations, but the majority of people can't get this at their Whole Foods yet. But I have tried it, and I'm gonna do a little review on it on my blog, so if you're into that kind of thing, check it out. But other than that, I'm just gonna be eating my soup. Yes. Trading in the soup for some masala. So for the second dish, I got a little adventurous, guys. I made some veggie masala. This is basically masala with sweet potatoes, carrots, butternut squash, and lentils. And then also some just basmati rice I think I'm gonna serve with it. I had never made anything like this before, but I think it turned out really, really, really good. Also, don't pay any mind to this. I don't know what this is, literally. I just got this package from obviously The Walking Dead. I have no idea what's in it, but I promised Cyrus that I would wait for him until he got home to open it. And it's kind of killing me, guys. Like, I kind of just... <laughs> oh! I was literally just telling them how I wasn't gonna wait for you to open this. Wow. It's killing me, I can't help it. Open it, open it, open it, open it. Well, I mean food. So making this was pretty easy, but because it was something new for me, I found it to be a little bit difficult, so I'll try to break it down for you guys. To make the sauce, all I did was brown an onion and then add some cubed eggplant and a little bit of ginger and a little bit of garlic. Kind of cook this, saute it in a pan for like 15 minutes. Then you have to add all the spices. I added masala, cumin, turmeric, and chili, and I just kept adding to taste. I literally, at this point, have no idea how much I put in there. I just kept adding it and tasting it, and then I took that, put it in a pot, and then I added tomato puree and a can of coconut milk, half a lime, and salt and pepper. And then again, I just kept tasting it and adding more spices, depending on what I thought it needed. And then on the side, I boiled a bunch of veggies, some carrots, sweet potato, and squash, and then also some lentils, and I mixed it all up and served it over rice. So we opened the box, guys. Show them what was in it. <laughs> this is so crazy. Oh my gosh, you're scaring me. I've actually been a super fan of The Walking Dead for since the beginning, really. So cool that they sent me this with my name on it and everything, and not to mention a GoPro, which I've never ever ever used before, and I'm really excited to figure out how to use it. This is a special kind of GoPro. So cool. Thank you, AMC. Dinner is probably the most exciting meal for me because it is by far the biggest meal, and I get to make it fresh, which sometimes warming up cold soup and cold veggie masala isn't the most satisfying. It's convenient, but it doesn't really compare to like a fresh warm meal. So tonight we are making, what are we making? I don't know, but I think the most important thing about dinner is that you gotta make it with me. Oh, bonding time. 
Um, no, so tonight we are making fajita bowls with a lime cilantro rice and then a zucchini, squash, tomato, bean kind of meat. And uh, what else are we putting on there? And a deduction of avocado. <laughs> uh, like some sweet peppers and onions, you know, like classic fajita style mix. And then some guacamole with pomegranate seeds on top. Oh, you fancy. Oh, you fancy. That's right. So there's the rice, and I just went ahead and put the cilantro in there. Gonna add a little bit of water. Mmm. 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 Okay. That's good. Good job. Teamwork. Um, would you say this is necessary? What you got on? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> oh my gosh. In this pan, we have the peppers and the onions going. And then over here, we have the kind of taco meat substitute, which is some cubed zucchini. Now I'm pouring in a can of tomato sauce. And then a can of beans. I know. Quite weird. And then I'm gonna put a bunch of taco seasoning mixed in with this. The rice is done. Just adding some lime. And there you go. So look at the final product. We got the lime cilantro rice, then the fajita mix, then the tomato bean zucchini mix. And then just some tomatoes, some mashed avocado with lime and garlic salt, and some pomegranate seeds. And there it is, yes. And now we eat. And yes, even when Cyrus is here, we still eat on the couch. <laughs> I was telling them earlier, oh, even though we have bar stools, I always eat on the couch, because I have a problem. And for dessert, we're just gonna have a few of these little mochi balls. This, these ones are coffee. These ones are mango. If you guys don't have a Trader Joe's, you're really missing out. And if you do have a Trader Joe's and you haven't tried these, you're really missing out. And that's everything I ate today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What are you doing? Did I say you could be in this? I'm just getting up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and like I said, if you are watching this on YouTube, be sure to go over to my blog, and I'll have everything kind of more listed out there for you to see. Really? <laughs> anyway, okay. Bye! Chibis. Chibis, tell the people bye. Chips. 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 Okay, bye.